Hi, it's Zingun. Today's content is about how to fly FPV at basement parking, and I'll deal the simplest tutorial about the basics of how to fly the FPV drones. When you fly in FPV simulators, as the control of FPV is so different that you'll be very confused and feel like to give up in the beginning of practicing. When I was doing the simulations for the first time, I just couldn't understand how to speed down at the corners and thought, is this really possible to maneuver? I almost threw up my controller as I got so super upset. As I learned by myself, uh, it took longer than others who learn from their coach. If I had chance to learn the basics of FPV flight, I must have finished the simulator lessons faster and that's why I'm making this tutorial, as there are no specific simple FPV tutorials in YouTube. Let's watch my FPV flight first. I flew FPV with Geek TV, the famous YouTuber in Korea, and he also rides this electrical skateboard very well. I really had great fun that night, and here I share my video to you all. At night times, the shopping mall's parking lot, as there are no cars, it's a really safe place to ride and fly for the boarders and the pilots. Try to find these shopping mall parking lots near you, as it's a super fun place to practice. As I have unforgettable memory this night, I really had fun. That guy rides so well. Of course, before flying here, uh, practicing simulations is very essential. In FPV simulators such as liftoff, there is a stage called minus two. And frankly speaking, I think it's one of the most hard stages to master. I still sweat myself these days because it's very close to area compared to the outer flight. And the ceiling height is only 2,300 millimeters high. It gives a lot of stress in this kind of closed conditions. And there are also many obstacles such as columns. Ooh, man, I almost bump into that column. Did you see that? Shall we watch the crashes that I did in simulations? If you crash like this, your drones will be destroyed and you will have to pay for this when you're fixing this. I just don't remember how many times I wanted to give up. Anyway, it's very hard stage to master. Practice and simulators are necessary to not to break your drones like that. And practicing this kind of zigzag is important also. So try to do the, uh, practice this in a real parking lot. How can you find the zigzag with FPV drones? How can you slow down at the corners while flying in a high speed? By the practice in simulators, that's why I can chase the skateboards like this. Looks easy enough, but you need a lot of practice to fly like that in a very low horizontally. Anyway, with my practice, I had a safe flight that night with Gig TV without any crashes. Now I'll talk about the simplest basics of how to fly FPV drones. If you know this, it's going to be very simple to learn how to fly FPV in manual mode. When you first start to fly and test this in simulators, you will be very used to just ordinary drones like Mavic 3 or Mavic Mini 3. But you will find out that it has a totally different how the way to fly. The control method is totally different and it's just totally different grammar, totally different language. So when I just press this up, it's gonna both go forward in Mavic Mini 2, but in FPV it doesn't. So when you try to practice in FPV, you're gonna be very confused and you're gonna feel that you're gonna give up very soon because it's so hard to learn this new language. So in this tutorial, for the ones who want to learn by yourselves, I'm, I made this tutorial for you guys, and it's going to be much simpler and much faster to learn the simulations of FPV. And it's very hard to find in YouTube, that's why I made this. Uh, I'm making this tutorial. Just understand this basics, the concept of FPV, how to fly, then you will start to find out, oh, this is how to fly FPV, then you're going to know that. The concept of FPV is that the throttle is everything. This throttle button, when you press up, it's gonna go up, it's gonna thrust up. 
If you press down, it's gonna come down. This is it. It's everything. It's very similar to the fixed gear bicycle. You know, the gear that is fixed. You can brake with the gear, with the pedal, like that. So when you stop the gear, it's going to break down. And then by the law of inertia, it's going to go forward a little bit more. The braking distance is about like five times longer than just the ordinary bicycle. It's very similar like that. So how to go forward? So you just pitch up a little bit like that. Then it's going to lean forward like that. And then if you throttle up by the thrust of the wind, of the propeller it's going to go forward like this by this diagram like this so the second thing is that how do you do the cornering how do you do the drifting at the corner when you come very fast if you do not slow down it's going to go forward by the law of inertia and it's going to bump to the wall so you have to slow down like a car so what you do is that you have to pitch up like this and if you throw it all up uh, it's gonna have to reverse wind and it's gonna make your FPB stop and slow down like that so this is the diagram how to stop by throttle so by throttle you do everything you go forward and you do the brake you lean forward by pitching up like that and then you press the throttle up then it's gonna go forward and then you pitch down then it's gonna tilt like this and then if you put the throttle up, then it's going to have the reverse wind, which is going to cause to the FPB to slow down at the corner, like this. And then you do the left turn at the corner like that, when you slow down. And then you throw it up and you go forward again. So if you mix up these kind of combination of uh, this control, then now you're going to understand uh, how to do the cornering like that. So, first I will do the summer again. Go forward, pitch up, and throttle up to slow down by the reverse wind. Do the cornering and they'll do the left turn. If you know this concept, you know like almost like 90% of how to fly a FAV drone. This is it. This is all you need to know. Very simple, right? This is how you slow down. If you understand how to slow down, that's everything about how to fly FAV. And the third thing is, how do you do the diving? This is the thing. Just go up, tilt uh, forward like that, and then just put the throttle to zero. Then it's gonna turn off the engine. Yeah, the propeller is turning, but then it's gonna do the free fall. In FPV, free falling is how you do the diving. Very simple, right? You just put the throttle to zero, then it's gonna drop like that. That's all. Yeah, so if you go want to go faster while diving, you can tilt a little bit more. But the thing is that if you throw it a little, it's going to come near to the building, which looks very quite ugly like that. And this is like the divings of the Rukis. So just do the, a certain angle and then just do the free falling like this. Then it's going to look a vertical diving. It's going to look much better like that. So it's all about the throttles. Even the diving is about the throttle also. When you do the diving and you pitch up and when you go forward by throttle, you can do like this. You can just pitch up and go forward like that. This is all you need to know. Very easy, right? Let's go to chapter 2. Then what does camera angle mean in FPV drones? What does the camera angle mean in FPV drones? Like people talk about uh, angles. I fly in 10 degrees, I fly in 25 degrees, I fly in 45 degrees. What does this camera angle mean in FPV drone? Nobody talks about this in YouTube. So why are they talking about angles about camera in FPV? So when you set the angles in 10 degrees, this is zero degrees of the camera. If you if you're in zero degrees, if you throw it up, it's just gonna go up and down. But if it's like 10 degrees tilted, if you throw it all up, it's gonna go forward very slowly. And that time the camera angle is 10 degrees. When I fly in indoors, I am mostly flying 25 degrees and slow. This is 25 degrees. 
And when I fly in 45 degrees, it's going to fly, the camera is going to be looking up in 45 degrees. And if you throttle up, it's 45 degrees. So it's going to go forward faster than 25 degrees. And if you put 55 degrees, it's going to be much faster than 25 degrees. But people will think, isn't then 55 degrees the better than 25 degrees? But actually, the braking distance is going to get longer because you have to do the reverse wind and you have to tilt up more, which means braking distance is going to be very longer. If it was like 55 degrees, when you're flying very fast, if you want to stop, you have to tilt 55 degrees and tilt a little bit up more to stop. So in this video and previous video, I was talking about the uh, angles of the FPV previously. So I was talking about the braking distance by the degrees. Yes, you can fly in higher angles to fly faster, but the higher angles means there's more risk of bumping to ground like this because you have to tilt very fast and throttle up faster to not to bump into the ground. And DJI FPV has a stronger propeller, so it's much easier to stop faster and go up higher. And mostly I fly 45 degrees with DJI FPB because it's, I think it's very stable and it also has a high speed. And it's also good to stop. And because it's fast, I feel like I'm a bird and it feels like, yes, this is the, the joy of flying FPV. So I'm recommending DJI FPV better than DJI uh, Avatar. Anyway, so when you going down, you will think of, oh, why, 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 why isn't this like slowing down? And sometimes it's going to just, just go directly inside the ground like that because the angle is too high. So you have to tilt up faster than this one. So you need a lot of practice by each drone because every drone has a different speed, different power. So you have to understand by each drones before doing in the reality uh, a bit before doing it like a building diving because it's quite dangerous and safety is the most important thing to achieve so now you understand about the angles right this is it super simple right content